Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll explore the use of graphic styles to quick start your projects in Illustrator. In this video tutorial, I just want to introduce you to using graphic styles in Illustrator. So to get started, I have a couple of shapes here and some text. I'm going to open the graphic styles panel by choosing window and then graphic styles. Now styles that look like this can be applied to any shape by just clicking on it. But you'll see that this doesn't really help this shape at all. So I'm just going to press Ctrl or Command Z. And instead of clicking on this style, I'm going to Alt click. And that's going to add a drop shadow to this heart. I'll just undo that. And there's an option here to add an outer glow. Again, Alt clicking on the style will add it to the current look of the shape. There's also a blue neon. Now if I click this without holding the Alt or Option key, then I get this blue neon look. If I undo that and then this time do it using the Alt or Option key, then the blue neon edge is applied, but the color of the shape still remains intact. And there are some other things here. I've got a chrome highlight and a couple of patterns here. So I can apply a pattern to a shape by selecting it and clicking on either of these patterns and they will apply graphic styles to my shape as well. Just going to press Ctrl Z to back out of here and I want to go back to my drop shadow. So I'm going to Alt click on the drop shadow. In the appearance panel, we will see that a drop shadow has been applied to this text. Now you can get to appearance by choosing window and then appearance. And this is the drop shadow effect. It can be disabled by clicking its eyeball and we can enable it. We can also double click to adjust it because this is what it looks like. Well, these are the settings that are applied with it. So we could, for example, increase the blur. I'll just click the preview button here so that we can see the effect. So these effects can be adjusted if you wish. So just click OK. I'm actually going to remove that effect from this shape. Now let's go to the text. So I have my text selected and there are actually some graphic styles that you can use for text. I'm just going to open up the panel here. I'll choose Open Graphic Style Library and we'll go to Type Effects. And these are the type effects that are included with Illustrator. Now they all look like effects that could be applied to a shape. It might be a little bit easier for us to see them if they were actually applied to type. So I'm going to click the menu here and choose Use Text for Preview. Now I can see the text itself rather than just little blocks of color. So with my text selected, I'm going to click on one of these effects. And you can see that these effects all apply different looks to our type. I'm going back to the default, which is this option here. So I'm just going to set it to default white and black. I'm going to select the text tool. I'm just going to select over the text here and then go back and apply one of these effects. Now when I select rough and click away from the type, you can see that rough hasn't actually been applied to it. And you might make this same mistake where you click on the text to select it and then click on one of these type effects and you're not getting exactly what it is that you wanted. Well, the reason for this is that you need to select the type with the selection tool to have it work properly. So just be aware if you select a text option and if it doesn't appear to work, you probably are trying to select it the wrong way. Now new in Illustrator a few versions back were some additional interesting graphic styles. I'm going to drop this menu open and again go to Open Graphic Style Library and this time I'm going to select Additive. Now these additive effects allow you to apply transformations to your objects. So I'm going to select this object here now and I'm going to Alt click on Twist and what it does is it twists that shape. I'm just going to undo that. Now you want to be aware that if you just select your shape and click twist, then this is going to happen. You're not going to get the result that you're looking for. So remember to alt click on these particular effects. Now there are some interesting effects here for grids. 
again I'm going to alt click on this and what it does is it creates a transformation effect that gives us a number of stars. If we go to the appearance panel we can see exactly what is happening. Here is one of the transforms and we can see that we're creating nine copies of this object and each one of them is pushed 200 pixels away from the other. Well we can reduce that down to a different value. I'm just going to click on preview so we can see what's happening and let's just increase that a little bit and then click OK. And there's another transform here and this is controlling the vertical. Again let's click on preview. This time let's reduce the vertical. And so we can take advantage of these effects but also edit them ourselves by just looking in the appearance panel to see what's being applied to our shape and then making adjustments to it. There are other options here such as rotate and these are additives, so this was being added to the previous transformation. If I press Ctrl or Command Z to undo everything and then go and just select this rotation, it's going to look a little bit different. It's just a circle now. You can see that these stars have now been rotated around in a circle. You can either undo it by pressing Ctrl or Command Z or you can come in here to the Transform option and just delete it. Well, let's just cancel out of there and I'm just going to delete it from the shape. And this is a different one of those options. Well, this is a sort of splat effect of our shape. So I encourage you to look through the graphic styles that are shipped with Illustrator. Not only those that appear in the graphic styles panel, there are only a few of them so it looks like it's pretty lean on graphic styles. But when you open up the panel and open up the graphic style library, you'll see there are all sorts of styles. There are pattern styles, there are textures, there are scribble effects, neon effects, image effects, there are even some 3D effects. So there are plenty of things that you can do using graphic styles here in Illustrator. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.